Hey everybody, welcome to our new video on footnotes and citations. I decided to create this video because one of our customers, Brandon, had a great question about how to actually insert uh, citations and footnotes into our Kindle template and make them clickable. So I realized I hadn't covered that on the blog, so I thought I would do a quick video to show him and everyone how easy it is to do, and uh, we'll jump right into it. So what I'm referring to is when you want to cite something in your books, I'll give you an example. Uh, here is an example where I created a little citation. So you could do it next to a word or at the end of a sentence, you know, something uh, that you want to, people to refer to. Maybe it's a definition, maybe it's further information or a link or something like that. So you can put a citation there that links to a footnote that you create. So if I click on this number one citation, takes me to a footnotes page that I created, and this is the number one citation um, that it directs me to. Here is a different citation uh, called number two. If I click on that, it takes me to the number two citation. So it's really simple to make this happen using our Kindle template, and these are fully clickable links. Uh, it's not just clickable here in Word, it's actually clickable on the Kindle, and it'll take you and the reader directly to the exact footnote that you link to. So it's really nice, very convenient, and uh, looks real good. So let's talk about exactly how to do that. First of all, what I'm doing in this example is, like at the end of our sample book here, I created a chapter called Footnotes, and then I just put my footnotes in here. You could have footnotes at the bottom of any page if you wanted to, or at the end of a chapter. I just put it in its own chapter at the end of the book, but it's totally up to you. So the first step is to do your footnotes, okay? So you wanna just figure out where you want those footnotes, whether it's at the end of the chapter, at the end of the book, etc. So in this case, I just created a new chapter and called it footnotes, and then I typed them in. Uh, this is just simple. So for example, to make it easy, whenever I do citations and footnotes, I actually put a little number sign and then number each one of them throughout the entire book. So we'll do a new footnote here. So let's do uh, footnote number three. I'm just going to do number three. And this is the source. Um, so we could type anything in here. Um, in fact, I'll type that. <laughs> You could have an image here. You could also have a full link. If you wanted to link out to like Wikipedia or something like that, you could have a full link in here and that'll be a clickable link on the Kindle as well. So you could have images, text, links, all that kind of stuff here in your footnotes without a problem. So that's the first step is just putting in whatever your footnote is. The next step is to go up into your chapter where you want the uh, citation to be and put that in here. So in this case, we just created uh, citation number three. So I'm just going to come up here and I'll put it right next to uh, at the end of this sentence right here. Okay, so I'm just going to just type in a little number sign and number three. So we have that in there now. Okay, now two more steps and we'll be good to go. If we come back down here to our citation, what we need to do is highlight it with the mouse, everything that's on that citation footnote line, so it's highlighted. Then you want to click on insert and then choose bookmark, okay? So you want to insert a bookmark with that highlighted. And then up here, we're going to give it a name. And you need to remember this name in the next step, so make sure that you either write it down or you just um, name it something that you're going to remember. So I'm going to name it citation three, just so it's easy to remember. So I just type in citation three, and then click this little add button right here. And now we've set this as a bookmark called citation three. Okay, last step, we just come back up here to our citation number three. We highlight that, and now we're gonna hyperlink it. So with that highlighted, we come up here and we click insert, and then hyperlink, and then Depending on what version of Word you're using and whether you're on a PC or Mac, it may look a little bit different, but you're basically gonna be linking, hyperlinking to an anchor. So in the version I'm using right here, this is where we type it in. 
And we want to type in exactly the bookmark name we called it, which is Citation 3. I didn't use any spaces or anything like that. And then just click OK. So now watch what happens. When I click on this little number 3, it takes us directly to that Citation 3 that we just created in our footnotes chapter. And then if somebody's reading this on the Kindle, they can just hit their back button and it'll take them right back to where they were before. So that's all there is to it. Uh, it's really simple to create citations and footnotes for your Kindle books using our template. It makes it really easy. And since it's in our template, all your links are fully clickable and uh, will work perfectly. That's it for today's video. If you have any suggestions on future topics you want me to cover in the blog and on video, just make sure and let me know.